Hello and welcome to Southern California CEO Magazine. I'm your host, Dwight Cromie. On this edition, we'll be speaking to Mike Coe with Silicon Valley-based Xerolux. Xerolux designs and manufactures LED-based retrofit kits and new luminaries for commercial and institutional campuses and municipalities. And to David Schenkel, Executive Director for the Southern Sierras Chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association. Welcome. Thank you, Thank Dwight. You, Dwight. Thank you. Mike, can you tell me what's the major difference between LED lighting and the existing incandescent lighting? L LED lighting uh, is a very energy efficient process because it is a solid state technology. The conversion process of converting electrons into photons is about 80 percent. Um, and given the fact that LEDs are solid state devices, they are extremely rugged. Uh, they have long lives, they love uh, operating under cold temperature conditions, and they have instant turn on and offs. So, uh, so that's a quick explanation of, of, of LED lighting. Now, uh, going to a traditional lighting. So when I think of traditional lighting, uh, I think of incandescence, as you mentioned, fluorescence, and HID, uh, uh, which, which, which is high intensity discharge. So obviously there's differences in the technologies used to create the light in those traditional light sources, but there are several uh, common features that they all share, some commonalities, one of which is they use a lot of energy to create the light. Uh, the second is a lot of energy is wasted in, in that light generation conversion process. And third, they generate a lot of heat as a byproduct of that conversion uh, inefficiencies. So to kind of give you some, some uh, quantitative uh, uh, perspective on that, so for every 100 units of energy that goes into an HID, uh, uh, for example, 20 units of that energy is actually used to create the light, and the other 80 units is lost as heat. So 20% conversion efficiency. Compare that against an LED, which has an 80% conversion efficiency rate. So add on top of that, uh, a lot of these traditional lighting sources have materials that are uh, uh, hazardous uh, to the environment. So in a particular HID uses uh, um, uh, mercury. Right? So LEDs do not contain uh, any hazardous materials, and they are Rojas compliant, which means that they're extremely eco-friendly. Um, David, can you tell me, from uh, a contractor's point of view, or working with cities and governments, what types of companies organiza or organizations would benefit from the LED retrofits that you're currently installing? I would say any and all businesses. Uh, it's an energy efficient lighting source. It saves you energy cost. It saves you maintenance cost in the long run in replacing the bulbs compared to the LEDs, as Mr. Coe just uh, explained. It's a new technology. It's going to change lighting that we know of it. Uh, it's a new world tomorrow, today, with LED. It, so any business could benefit from the cost savings, even homeowners. I just remodeled my kitchen last year, and I put all LED in. Uh, that way I don't care if my, life, my wife leaves, leaves the lights on all day long. David, from an energy-saving point of view, uh, NECA contractors, that's their job is to go to their clients and help them uh, save energy. What type of energy savings uh, does LED present to a, say, a, a school or a city? Uh, if you can give us kind of the numbers, because again, you're not only saving on the lighting, but you're saving on maybe the air conditioning costs. Can you kind of give me an idea? Well, I don't really know on the air conditioning cost, although any reduction in heat in a room saves you air conditioning cost. But I would say the LED can save you between 50 and 70 percent on your lighting electrical portion of your bill. Uh, and that's a huge savings. So, um, some cities we've talked to are running a couple million dollars uh, lighting bills. That saves them a million dollars a year at 50 percent. So, and really I think it's higher than that, but I always come in with a little bit conservative number. Uh, so I would say 50 to 60 percent you'll see in savings of your electrical cost on lighting. Mike, can you tell me what are some of the applications for this lighting? I mean, where would you put these retrofits? What, what would the retrofits be used in? Retrofit is, uh, is a fairly new concept in the sense that most of the uh, LED luminaires out there want to provide uh, their clients with uh, new fixtures, new luminaires. Our business model uh, is the opposite of that. What we're saying is that your existing infrastructure you know, if, if it's in relatively good shape, you don't have to change out the housing. You don't have to change out, you know, the poles. All you need to do is just a simple bulb and ballast replacement with an LED 
uh, and the drivers. So anywhere, any exterior applications or any commercial applications where, where, where you have HID light, you know, uh, metal halide, high pressure sodium, low pressure sodium, uh, even some fluorescent applications, all of these are easily, are, are, are good candidates for our LED retrofit. Um, uh, interesting to note, there, there are about a billion sockets, existing sockets in North America uh, that, are, that are very good candidates for, for, for retrofitting with, with, with our LED products. Okay, well, say I'm a maintenance manager or I'm a city manager or I'm in charge of the lighting. David, where do I start? Okay, this is all great, but what's my first step in finding out Will this save me money, and what will it take? What's, what's my first step? Our first step would be calling a professional out to do an energy audit on your building or facility. Let them go through, walk through the facility, uh, analyze your energy bills, and then they can put together a proposal of what LED would do for you, where it would fit into your lighting needs and how much money it would save. Now, I understand NECA contractors here in the inland Southern California region are offering free audits to companies, school districts, and cities. Um, what do these audits entail? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, in the Riverside, San Bernardino area right now, for, uh, we offer free energy audits. We'll go out, we'll do a walkthrough of your building or facility, we'll look at your lighting, your mechanical systems, see what we can do on those, and we'll also take your gas and electric bills and do an analysis of those and then give you a proposal of what we think you could change out and then take it from there for what the customer wants to do with the audit at that point. So they're not obligated then to use an ECA contractor. No. You're just providing the service and hopefully you'll make that decision to use an ECA. Exactly. We hope okay. that by going in with the audit and getting them to see where they can uh, get more efficiencies, they'll use our contractors to come in there and help change out these systems. I'll ask both of you who can answer this the best. Once you've come back with the audit, and I, I want to make these improvements, are there any currently any tax incentives or, or tax incentives or rebates available to a business or a city or a, say a college or, or a school district once they decide to move forward? Yes. So yes, there are rebates uh, out there, calculated incentives. But the caveat to that is, is that your product must be listed on what's called the Design Lights Consortium, uh, or short for DLC, which is basically an approved vendor list for the utilities provider. Um, um, we have 31 products listed on the DLC, uh, and where within our category of exterior retrofit, we're the only ones in that category. And so depending upon who the utilities provider is, the rebate range, uh, the rebate or the calculated incentives can range anywhere between five cents per kilowatt hour saved all the way up to 24 cents per kilowatt hour saved. And also depending upon the type of design parameters you implement, that basically means you know, you're, you're, um, you know, you're saving 15 percent, pay, it's paying 15 percent of the cost of the project uh, as high as 80 percent. Uh, um, so there are a lot of calculated incentives and rebates out there, but your product must be on the DLC in order to qualify for those programs. I've decided, yes, I want to do the re retrofits, and yes, it may cost me a million dollars. Where do I get the funding? Now, can you answer that, David? If, if, if I'm interested in moving forward and you come back with an audit and it makes sense to me, how do I fund it? Well, you can go to your own financial sources, or NECA also provides uh, financial uh, sources. We will vet uh, your business, and then we'll go to, we have over 5,000 financial entities that will loan monies for these type of energy efficiencies, and several of them will just take the savings out of the, will take their payment out of the savings that you're, you're experiencing through it using the LED. Real quick, what type of relationship or what is the relationship between the two companies here? We're starting off a good relation with Zero Lux. Uh, we find that their products are very innovative. Uh, as Mike said, they are listed on the DLC, uh, which is a big thing with the utilities. So that's one of the great things. And also the retrofit is what makes their technology so great. Uh, we've been looking at a few different projects and it's about a 50% savings to the customer in using a retrofit to bring in a brand new light bulb and everything. So I think they have a great idea. Uh, Nika is working with them and we hope to work with them for many years. Well gentlemen, I want to thank you for your time. This is interesting learning about LED lighting 
and uh, look forward to the future. Thank you, Thank Dwight. You. Working closely together, the National Electrical Contractors Association and Xerox's core team of experienced LED lighting telecom professionals have to date installed over 5,000 retrofits across the country. Their goal, along with NECAS, is to provide lighting systems that enable their customers to create safer, more beautiful and sustainable campuses while reducing energy and operational cost for their clients. For more information on Xerox or NECA, or if you're interested in a free energy audit, simply click on one of the icons to the right of the screen. I'm your host, Dwight Cromie, and I want to thank you for watching this edition of Southern California CEO Magazine.